Pag Pag, Recycled Trash Meat Eaten by Manila's Poorest. The poor of the Philippines consume Pag Pag. Pag Pag is recycled waste meat. The Philippines is one of the poorest countries in the world. The lives of its people are very apprehensive where they live in slums. The global economic turmoil that has occurred makes them have difficulty with food. They are forced to recycle food waste that is picked up in trash cans around the city of Manila. Meat is their target, processed and then consumed again to sustain life. Is that true? Watch this video until it's finished so we don't fail to understand. Hello, Relax Mania wherever you are. Various tribes and nations in various parts of the world. See you again with I am the host king of the dark side of the world. How are you? Of course, good news, happy, healthy, and full of enthusiasm. Relaxing, just relax. Then enjoy some information about the world for you. Only on this channel, we invite you to travel around the world with just the touch of a finger. The country we are visiting this time is the Philippines. Prepare coffee and lean on. Due to skyrocketing inflation since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Pag Pag is becoming increasingly common among residents of Happy Land and the surrounding Tondo district on the coast of Manila, whose population is estimated to be around 630,000 people, according to the official government census. Vegetable markets impacted by economic turmoil, with onions costing 700 pesos per kilo, $12.70. At last Christmas markets, three times more than in countries such as Switzerland and Denmark, Pag Pag sellers had to arrange rations ranging from 25 and 30 Philippine pesos, 0.40 euro cents. With food prices rising relentlessly, Manila's poorest are increasingly turning to eating and consuming Pag Pag, a stew made with scraps of meat and bones picked from the trash that are cooked or deep fried and seasoned with a generous amount of sauce. In the shanty town where he lives, hidden between the wharves of Manila's commercial port and not visible from the roads that run along the city's polluted coastline, some 120,000 people live and sleep in cramped, fragile huts built on piles of refuse. Under the relentless sunlight and stifling humidity, the pungent stench of the trash was overwhelming. Others, like Rowino Capiluk, are Pag Pag collectors. Their day starts early in the morning visiting restaurants and fast food chains that provide them with their daily trash in large plastic bags. At dawn, onto the streets of Happy Land, where he scavenges for leftovers and chewed up bones from trash cans and separates whole chicken pieces that have been thrown away by several anonymous diners. These are the most coveted and hard to find pieces. After the first round of sorting the leftovers, Capuluk delivered the recycled food to Evelyn Blasorka. She cleans and boils them to make two types of pag pag, one meat fried in flour and the other marinated and seasoned with onions, vegetables and spices, which are then served with a sauce. Almost everyone in Happy Land eats pag pag, some places prepare it better and others worse, but in general everyone loves it. Affordable. However, some Pag Pag collectors were uncomfortable when asked about the meat selection process. The logos of two of the country's largest fast food chains that donate meat waste can be seen on the bags used to collect discarded waste. The World's Dark Side Team concluded that the Philippine government should continue to make efforts to prepare free food for children and adults in this country.
because continuous consumption of pad pad for children can cause stunted growth and malnutrition and hepatitis A, diarrhea, and cholera. Next, conclude for yourself what conclusions do you think. Thank you for watching this video to the end and see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so we can get to know the world with just the touch of a finger. Happy carrying out activities and always healthy. Bay Bay.